everybody welcome back to my channel i'm andy and today's video is going to be a very beginner friendly tutorial we're gonna be making these christmas stockings so yeah christmas is coming soon so uh let's better get ready and get sewing right so i have this pattern available for you guys to download it's in the description below it's called minimalist stocking i called it that way because i just you know feel like it's it's very minimal it's it's very basic so but you know you can you can do whatever with this pattern as long as you have this um you can like do patchwork like this one this is also perfect for like fabric stash or just remnants of fabric that or small cutouts of fabric that you don't know what to do with and they just look like festive if they're patchwork so um also you can definitely just stick with just a plain um fabric which i am going for uh this the the idea behind this minimalist stocking is to you know to have it linen and and you just plain and simple that's the idea for this um pattern so today's tutorial i'm going to be using linen fabric i'll be using this 100 percent linen for the outer and this is going to be the lining and it's cotton quilting so you can use any fabric type really for this project you if you're going to use a very thin and um you know flimsy um like fabric then i suggest use batting or interfacing there's fusible battings out there or the fusible interfacing fusible fleece or um you know woven uh, interfacing so use any of those just to make it a bit more um with a body and it's a bit you know heavier than having it very flimsy right so we're gonna need to cut two main that from this one and two lining and if you're using a printed fabric uh, you're gonna have to make sure you reverse the pattern so also this one only one um, one piece so I'm gonna cut the handle from the main so it matches the outer because it's gonna be on the outside so that's what I'm gonna do but you know feel free to mix and match um, but I'm going for a minimalist style so uh, I'd like it to be plain and simple If you'd like to personalize your stocking, this is the best time to do it uh, when it's not sewn. Just, you know, if you'd like to do it on this side, then go ahead and embroider it. But if you're doing, um, you know, a, a DTF or a screen print or um, those vinyl uh, cutouts, then you can, you can always do that at the end. You can always iron on your design. But if you're embroidering um, a personalization, then, then this is a perfect time to do it, right? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to personalize this, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut my handle. So, I need to cut my handle first. Let me just do that. Okay, we're going to sew the handle first. But before that, we're going to fold it half in half. And then fold half 
of that half and then the other half. <laughs> that makes sense. And then fold it again. Now this would be a lot easier if you have the if you have an iron. I'm gonna go iron this flat and then sew quarter of an inch allowance all the way down. And that, that's it. That's it for your handle. Now find the the um, wrong side of your fabric and the right side. So here's my right side and I'm gonna put them together and then pin all the way around. So I'm gonna pin all the way around here. Okay, for your lining, make sure you put them the right sides together and do the same thing as what you did on the outer. So pin all the way around and for the lining only, I'm going to mark two to three inches here, like about two inches from the top and then one, two, three inches here this is gonna be an opening for you to ins uh, to turn it inside out so don't forget to stop sewing from here and then here leave that open so you start from this side all the way down and then stop and then here all the way around so we're gonna sew all the sides except for the top of course quarter inch of seam allowance all the way around. Now make sure you backstitch from the beginning and the end. Okay, here's my sewn outer pieces. Now, what we're gonna do next is clip the curves. So, right before that thread, make sure you don't clip that thread. So we're gonna just clip a few on all the curves. So here, all the way, and here so I don't think there's anything to clip on the top so yeah go ahead and do that so it should look just like this so then when you turn this inside out it's gonna lay really nice and flat okay now let's do the same on the lining so just make sure you leave that gap or opening so you can turn it inside out. Now, here's a tip. To avoid like super tight um, lining, what I'm gonna do is, so determine the size of that seam allowance you made. So for example, for me, I made um, quarter of an inch. So this time, I'm gonna make it just a little bigger, right? A little wider here all the way around just so when I put this inside it will be nicer than you know won't be a saggy lining so let's do that
So here, I left the opening. All right. So let's clip the corners and the curves just like our first um, our interior. Okay, so just like this. All right. Okay, so I have my handle. So it's a double fold and then I just sew on one side. So that's gonna be my handle. And here's my lining and my exterior. Now, we're at the very last steps now. We're almost done. Okay, for the handle, so just grab the back. You can see this is the back of your um, stocking on the outer fabric. Open it up, open the seam to avoid bulk seams. And then just line up your handle there and then stitch a quarter of an inch. Just like that. Okay, so here, open it up, place your handle right there, and then stitch it. Now, we're going to turn this inside out. And push the curves. Okay, you can see your handle. Now, we're gonna put this, um, your linen or your top outer piece to the lining. So we're gonna insert it just like this. And properly line up all the curves. Then pull it. And then align your seams just like this. Make sure you're sandwiching the handle. So it has to be in between the lining and your outer. Okay, once you've lined that up, I'm gonna open my seam here and then start pinning and then find the other seam and I'm gonna nest this one. Nesting is your seam going the other way and the other goes that way. So like so. Right. And then just spin. Right. Now, we're going to go on our sewing machine and sew half an inch. So have an inch seam allowance all the way around. So I've sewn half an inch seam allowance all the way around. And what I'm gonna do with this bit is to just trim, you know where the handle is. I'm just gonna trim that bit, avoiding the um, stitches, just to reduce a bit of a bulk, okay. So find the opening on your lining. So it should be right here. And then turn it inside out. Slowly just pull the outer and then it should just come easily. There you go. Now I'm going to go and stitch this close. See that opening? I'm going to stitch it right 
at the very edge of that fold. So very close to that, I'm gonna stitch it close. See, I have stitched it very close to the edge. And you can see we're almost done. Now push that lining or insert it. Matching every corner. So use your fingers. Okay, we're almost done. So just finger press it. Or you can go and iron this flat. You can either leave it like this and you're done. But I recommend to actually finish it off by top stitching a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around this top. So then you'll have a nice professional look to it. And it, you know, this lining stays inside. It doesn't just, you know, come out like that. So I'm gonna go do that. There you go. Now that lining stays right there because of that top stitch. We're done, guys. So what do you think of this very beginner minimalist stocking? I think it's very nice and I'm going to make a few of them for my decorations for Christmas. So um, I might do linen ones and then just embroider our names on it. And I think that would look really nice, classy, and, you know, simple. But that's my style. What about you guys? What are you going to make it with? Um, are you going to do the patchwork style? Are you going to do, you know, velvet or a very fun fleece fabric? Um, yeah, just please follow me on Instagram and tag me there if you've made your own stocking from this tutorial. I would love to see it. And I really appreciate all your support guys i cannot thank you enough so you've done it congratulations this is a very beginner pattern and it's it's a fun project to make with your kids if you have teenagers um or young kids who actually are very interested in sewing i hope my two-year-old will be one day uh, interested in sewing so that would be fun yeah, so you can make it with any style, any, um, you know, any fabric, patchwork or whatever. It's a very nice beginner friendly project. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Be kind to everyone and bye bye.